Hello and welcome to the tutorial video for the new Torre RO projection software, Torre AquaGrid. Compared to our previous simulation software, we have done significant improvements in this new Torre AquaGrid. Especially, improving the user interface for a better user experience, and introducing the free design platform, to enable user to simulate most if not all the available design for system using our Torre Reverse Osmosis Membrane. To get used with the software, let's begin the tutorial for making a simple project using the default template available in Torre AquaGrid. After you have done the installation of Torre AquaGrid into your computer, an icon of the software will be created on your desktop. Double-click the icon to run the software. In your first run, you will see a window where you can set your language and your preferred unit for your projection. Once you have done with the setting, click apply to go to the main page. Here is the main page of Torre AquaGrid software. As the default arrangement, you will see the main toolbar on the top of the window for the basic operation of the software. And on the left side, you can see the process unit icon available for your design, including feed, product, pump, RO and many others. Next is to start a projection. To start a new project, click new button in the toolbar. Then, select a template that suit your project requirement. For the simplicity of this tutorial, select a common one pass RO design. To add or rearrange process unit icon from the default template, you can go to the drawing mode through the mode selection and do the desired change. With this, you have finished the process design for one pass RO system. Next, we need to enter the feed water information of the system. To enable us to input information to the system, go to the input mode through mode selection. Double click the feed unit to show the feed setting window. Select and enter all the required info of the feed water such as water type, pH, temperature, and ion composition of your feed water. Don't forget also to balance the charge of the ion. Once finished, you can close the feed setting window and go back to the main page. The next step is to fill in the necessary flow rate information for your system. Usually, we start from the desired product flow rate. Let's say we need 1000 cubic meters per day product water from the system. Then, we need also to decide the recovery for the system. Let's put 40% recovery as an example in this tutorial. Once the setting of the system flow rate finished, we can move on to the RO setting. To go to the RO setting, double-click the applicable RO unit icon. To determine the basic configuration of your RO system, you can use the Auto Design function. Click Auto Design button. Click OK, and it will give you the basic configuration. From this basic configuration, you can do any fine-tuning to your design. For example, changing the element number per vessel, adding or decreasing the vessel number, or adding the permeate back pressure or pressure loss to the setting. Once the RO setting is done, your setting for the system is complete and the calculation can be executed for the projection. To run the calculation, click Execute button in the toolbar. Once the calculation done, you can check the main result of the calculation through the RO stage and quick result tab. The water flow showed in the quick result can be deleted and added by drag and drop from the main window.
The ion displayed can also be adjusted from the calculation menu, then quick result setting. Also, if you need to issue a PDF report for the projection, you can do that by clicking print report button in the toolbar. With this, we have finished the tutorial of Torre AquaGrid basic operation. Thank you very much for your attention. We are looking forward to working with you through our new RO projection software, Torre AquaGrid. See you soon and sayonara.